in the other air quotes controversial fight of the I weekend. Can't see them scorecard. What score? What, what was it? I can't. 98, yeah. 92, and 97, 93. And then Max DeLuca with 95, 95. And he's the worst judge of them all, and he had it even, which is interesting. Because honestly, it was kind of a draw. And Patricia? Fine. I, I got no problem with a draw. I'll yeah. tell you how I scored it off air, right? Um, but 98, 92, and 97, 93. Three is just ridiculous. No, yeah, I, I don't. Uh, Ninety-eight, ninety-two, meaning that Omar Warrows only won two rounds. Two rounds. That's ridiculous because you won like the he first like four lot. rounds. Yeah. It felt like um, this was a fight though that like neither guy did that well in. Right. Like Rances was doing a lot of slappy shots. I felt like like maybe Warrows had a little uh, jitters. Jitters, yeah, he was a little shaky. Yeah. It, it, it's not, a big not moment. As, not as smooth as he. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It was a big moment. It was a him. big deal. He's a co-main event against um, decorated Cuban fighter, a former title contender. Oh, I'm trying to think of what to call Roly. I was gonna. Oh, you're talking about the co-main event yeah, to Roly. So he was a co-main event, and I didn't want to say Roly. I was gonna say the yeah. only sh like really important fight of the weekend because like the top rank car, which I don't have up right now, that happened. I didn't really watch it. Um, oh, the top rank with, card with, with Janabek. Uh, Janabek, yes, yes Janabek. I, I saw the oh, knockout. But there was also somebody else. Um, Jason Malone, uh, Andrew, Jason, Jason Maloney. One of Jason them. Malone, because Andrew. He looked good, man. He looked good. He fought looked, the guy that beat Cameron Rigan now. He looked one good. Of Maloney's fought. Jason, because Anthony. Uh, the good looking one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they look the same. They're twins. <laughs> they're twins. Um, but I didn't. I don't think but the top also rank card Ruben was Villa. Oh, yeah. Ruben yeah. Bf and there was another one also, another guy that's a um, local, more local guy. But we didn't watch it. No, we skipped that one. Um, but Omar Juarez, I just think he didn't commit enough on his game plan when he was pressuring Rancis, when he was throwing in combination. He was clearly throwing the better shots, um, the more impactful shots, so to speak. But maybe it was cardio issues, like you said jitters adrenaline dumps you know those things happen when a fighter that's young getting a big time fight um i'm excited to see him again i don't think this loss should derail him too much no. due to the division especially if he goes back um, to texas he'll be fine but rancis is a he's a spoiler i mean this was gonna be a tough fight gary i know this is your boy omar juarez i bet you have tons of thoughts about it any other thoughts other than the scorecard which we both that agree was wacky. was was wacky even though we both agree it, a draw scorecard is probably the most accurate one he had to put more pressure on him right like when he was putting pressure on him he was having success right but he was only doing it in spots and then there was times he was going backwards and stuff um i remember there was a johnny tapia event in new mexico and i was watching crawford and porter with uh omar omar's dad omar's trainer um and some other people right and omar's trainer rick nunez was yelling Right at Porter, right? We're watching it on TV, yelling at Porter, stop chasing him around. Like, stop chasing, you gotta cut the ring off on him. Right, stop chasing him around the ring. And like, now, it's like, come full circle, Omar, stop chasing him around the ring. You gotta cut the ring off him. You gotta corner him. You just can't, he's too fast and too slick for you. You can't just chase him around the ring. You gotta cut him off on him. You got, you, and when he did it, he had spots, but yeah, it didn't seem like he was fully committed to that game plan. Maybe. Hey, can we test Rancis for steroids? That was a 130 pounder who looked 10 pounds bigger than Omar, who's a natural 140 pounder. Can, can we can we test that guy for steroids? Who gains 20 pounds of muscle at 50 years old, like Rancis Bartholome? He looked huge in that fight. Um, but it's the thing about the Cubans, they don't age. King Kong Ortiz, Gamo, Laura, they, they fight till they're 50. They, they, what, 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 what's in the water over there? But they don't age. What's Dude, Fidel life? Castro had lung cancer for like 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, I don't I don't know about the size. Because you're right that Rinses is bigger and did look bigger uh, compared to Omar. Um, but like, come on, everyone's on steroids. Like, ev everyone is. The whole boxing. <laughs> and baseball. And, and UFC. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody, everybody. When I was in high school, 20-something years ago, right, half my baseball team took steroids. Like, Jeez. why now, at the highest level, do you, for millions of dollars, do you think they're going to stop? 
Oh, well, I made it this far. Now I don't want a competitive event anymore at the major league level. So so now I'm going to stop. Right? Like, like, it's ridiculous. Everyone is on steroids. Like, just, who's dumb enough to get caught? That's really what it comes down to. I want to ask you guys. Um, Omar's fight. They gave him three options, four options. But I can't remember who the fourth one was. It was um, Gary Russell, Gary Antoine Russell, uh, Bakhmadov, who fought in the other fight, um, and Rancis Bartholome. Did they make the right choice? Yes. Gary Russell, forget that. That's not, we're not picking him. So really, it's it's one of the other two. I would vote. He he got he he. he Did they make the right? Know, I think they made the right choice. I thought Bakhmadov yeah, won his no. fight too. This was a close fight. This is probably his best bet, honestly. I think so too. It was probably his best bet. He could have gotten. Uh, he, I don't know. It's hard because, like, I have a different opinion of Omar Wars' ceiling than Gary. So I don't want, like, to burst the bubble. Say, like, none of those are winnable. And the fact that, like, the least winnable one, I mean, the most winnable one in Ransom Pathalame still equaled enough of a spoiler to, like, upset Omar Wars. Like, that's a bad sign of, like, where a fighter's at, you know. But he's a baby. He's a baby. But, like, this is when, like, most fighters start thinking about like trainer shifts and stuff of that nature because <laughs> his, his trainer is one of my best friends, so don't do that. <laughs> don't, yeah, don't, don't do that. I, to say anything like that. I, I again, I don't know, but I'm saying like this is na where naturally most fighters start having that. Okay, How let, let me start trainer hopping. Omar's 23. Oh, he's a baby. See, What's the, you got time. Yeah, he has time. You're he right. Has a year to figure it out. Two. A year. He's 23. He got plenty of time. Only one year. Only I one give year. Him a year to if he's not a champion in a year. He's I didn't say champion. Done. I said okay. figure out what he wants to do. He's got to figure Just out. Just retire. Why are you yelling at me, man? No, not you. <laughs> um, Where's the tequila? I hope they do a rematch, right? Because I like. Well, you guys. I mean, the fight was really. It was close and competitive, but it really wasn't like a high action, high entertaining fight, right? It no, it was a bad fight. fight. It, it was a bad fight. It was a terrible fight, but. Um, but that's not. Omar's fault. It's Rancis because no, Rancis is always in bad he was fights. Yeah, he's that not David Morrell. for him. Who else was on that card though? Oh, the Ken Sims Jr. and uh, Akhmadov. I thought that decision was worse. I, I, I did. You guys think Ken Sims won that fight? I'll be honest. I didn't I think it was close. Well, I, I didn't, didn't score it. That. No, I watched I, it. I didn't see it. We watched it, but I. Sure? Yes, yeah, so you might have been asleep. Um, but it was one of those I didn't score. But Ken Sims was all fucked up after the fight, so. I didn't score it, and I was more just judging on like the casual basis of like that guy looks way more messed up. Akhmadov rearranges people's face like he did Barrios and Sims, and then loses every time. <laughs> every time, every time, you're right. Poor, he poor Akhmadov, the hamburger, man. and then he's like, "Peace." Akhmadov should be like eleven and zero right now. Poor guy. Who else we got? Going? No one. No one of note. I, Justin Valoria. He's from LA, isn't he? I have no. Is idea. he related to Brian Valoria, the Hawaiian Punch? Maybe. That's why I think. That's why I think. That was a fun fighter, fun little guy. Yeah, he looks it. Look, he looks like it a yeah, little bit. Like and from where you're, so you're right. Yeah, he's probably he's probably related he's to Brian of, I bet you. Um, I don't. I think I have? slept through that whole card until up until Omar's fight. But okay, up to uh, any other thoughts before we move on? Is that all that happened on Saturday? Because we didn't watch the top rank card. Did you, Gary? Any any thoughts on the top uh, rank card, Gary? Um, J Jason Maloney. Look good. He fought the uh, the, the Filipino guy, Astro a AstroTurf, that beat um, a what is his name? Who are you that talking about? Astro, no, Astro, Astro Turf. What Astro Lubio? What is this? The, the Filipino guy that uh, Maloney no. fought? Yeah, he's Filipino. I, oh, I thought that was gonna be a good fight. Maloney schooled him. He, uh, people yeah. are gonna say it was boring and stuff. I don't know. Maloney looked real sharp in that fight. He looked real good. And hopefully his brother looks good too. And then yeah, Janet Beck fought the. Uh, the janitor, Vincent. so he, he got an early Vincent Astrolobia. That one, yeah. Look at He's the he one got, that beat he beat Rigandau. Good old Rigandau. He can punch, but he's he's sloppy and stuff. He's Maloney schooled him. <sighs> he was just um Don't bring up Rigandau like that. <laughs> I'm a Rigandau fan. I like Rigandau. I love Rigandau. What I'm saying, he Rigandau is another guy <laughs> who says he's forty four, which means he's forty eight. <laughs> Um...